Tell me about yourself. Sir, I am Kirti, Kirti Chug, and I am pursuing my certificate course in clinical research from Pharma in Sting, Noida. And it's been three months, and I have learned a lot of things in these three months, like new clinical trial rules, 2019 protocol, logbooks, informed consent form, case report form, and many more things. I have also done my post graduation and graduation degree in forensic science from Dal Singh College, Karnal. I am a detailed person and a very well oriented person. I know how to work and how to manage the things as I work with the organization too and I know how to tackle the situation. I put my confidence in my work and don't back up from the challenges. Moreover that I try to learn new things and look up <clears throat> new outcomes that will expand my position and I have faith in my capacity to deliver the work so that I can deliver the best of the work I can do. I will also give some light on my parents. My father is a businessman, I am mother as a boutique of her own. I have one sibling and he is in 12th standard. Okay, great. Okay, good. What do you understand by protocol? Protocol, it is a complete written description and the scientific rationale for any of the research activity which include the human subjects. What are the contents of a protocol? It contains the study title, protocol number, indication, investigator. Moreover that, it's a very big list of the title where we include study phase and study time period methodology objectives, number of patient, treatment period, diagnosis, uh, inclusion criteria, exclusion criteria, test product, placebo in their dosing, efficacy where we know, do the evaluation criteria in which we do the efficacy marker, safety procedure and the, and the last is the statistical analysis. What is the ethics committee? Ethics committee, uh, these are the independent organization which contains scientific and the non-scientific personally which are responsible for verifying the integrity of the study and as well as the safety, integrity and the protection of the human subject rights. What are two different types of ethics, ethics committee? Ethics committee, yeah, there are two different kind of ethics committee that is institutional and independent ethics committee. Institutional ethics committee gives the approval of phase 1 to phase 4 and BAB study and but independent ethics committee give only the approval for the phase 4 and BAB study. And what do you understand by inclusion criteria in a protocol? Yeah, inclusion criteria are those corrected with six which have to be met if the patient want to participate in the study. You describe. This, like in the diabetes. If we are doing the diabetes diabetic study, the patient diabetic level or the sugar le glucose level must be above the 160 mg per deciliter. It, it is one of the di uh, inclusion criteria. So that is the only criteria? No, it is not only the only criteria. Uh, in ex inclusion criteria, the patient must not be in the clinical trial from last three months or he have not other medical history uh, rather than the diabetes. Pregnant women should not include and the lactating mother is also not included. Unless this trial is yeah. related to that. To that. Uh, what is exclusion criteria? Exclusion criteria are those characteristics which exclude the patient from participating in the study. And why? Because maybe it harms them. How? Like in diabetes, we are taking the diabetic example. If the lactating mother and if the pregnant lady is included, it may affect her child. So it is one of the major reasons. If the patient has a high blood pressure problem, so it may also affect, that medicine may also affect on her condition or on his condition. What do you understand by LAR? LAR it is a, legal a legally acceptable representative. He is the maybe the independent or jurisdictional person who is authorized by the law, who will 
गिव द कंसेंट फॉर द पार्टिसिपेशन इन द स्टडी ऑन द बिहाफ ऑफ द सब्जेक्ट इफ द सब्जेक्ट इज नॉट एबल टू गिव द कंसेंट then what is impartial witness impartial witness is an independent individual who in uh, attend the consent process and who will be unfair and will not be influenced by any of the people in the trial who will read all the consent details consent process details or any other document which is given to the subject if the subject or his lar is not able to read the documents okay what is site feasibility site feasibility it is the major uh, thing we no need to be know if we want to conduct the trial because in this site feasibility we judge whether site is reliable to conduct the clinical trial properly successfully and efficiently and according to the protocol needs so what are the parameters uh, covered under site feasibility like infrastructure of the site subject availability ethics committee and pi and the staff okay and what is trial monitoring trial monitoring it is a uh, uh, process of overseeing the conduct and the progress of the clinical trial that the trial is conducted recorded and reported as according to the uh, new clinical trial rule sponsors sop protocol and icsc gcp guidelines mm, what are different kinds of clinical trial monitoring like pre study during the studying monitoring and uh, study close out monitoring uh, how do you explain them uh, pre study monitoring is uh, initiated before the screening of the pa uh, patient or even the clinical trial uh, is started initiation of the yeah initiation of the clinical trial and, and even before the initiation of the screening of the patients and its purpose is to provide the pi and the staff to all the study related information and uh, during the site monitoring uh, monitor or the cra will ensure that the study is conducting as per the protocol icsc gcp guideline or sop and he will also make sure whether the enrollment of the participant is being started or not and in this uh, monitoring na he will make sure that he will make the frequent visits so that he can resist the errors or the protocol deviations and study close out visit it is a last visit of the last after the last patient it takes maybe 2 or 3 days and it ensures that the everything in the site is completed study is completed everything in the site is clean and tidy document is proper and is sent or it is compacted and be available and we can access the document for the future as we need for the regulatory requirements what is responsibility of investigator investigator he is the main person who will conduct the clinical trial firstly he will uh, arrange the staff and the um, desirable facility for the trial he should have the particular time for the conduction of the uh, time pe uh, for the conduction of the clinical trial and the completion of the clinical trial within the agreed time he will also responsible for the recruitment of the suitable and number of the staff investigator must be a uh, medical uh, registered medical council personnel of india he know about the in investigational product and its use he must uh, aware about the icsc gcp guidelines ethical values and regulatory requirements and must comply with it the medical care that is given to the patient or the medical decision on the behalf of the patient is taken it is also the responsibility of the clinical uh, trial investigator if the subject is having any primary physician and he want to inform them before enrolling in the clinical trial it will be the responsibility of the investigator to inform them investigator it also responsible that he would take care of the Uh, data accountability of the investigator product and that it is must be uh, stored and handled in a uh, good clinical practices he assure that the quality and the data which is present in the case report form is okay he will collect the data that is pertinent to the protocol he will do the procedure as according to the protocol he will also recheck the data which is in the source document and in the case report form he will also what is the responsibility of clinical trial monitor cra he will uh, he is the 
major uh, person who will uh, conduct that uh, he plays a major role ha he plays a major role because his duties are divided in the three main categories that pre study during the study and study close out in the pre study he will ensure that the all the protocol regarding information has been delivered to the pi and his staff they he should be delivered the information regarding or training regarding the gcp or the documentation case how to fill the info uh, case report form paper crf or uh, electronic crf he uh, you how to use electronic uh, case report form like uh, the password and the username uh, and he will also ensure that the access of the e ECRF software has to be given to the PI and the CRC and ECRF has been installed to their computers and he will also do the document monitoring in which he will check the informed consent form CRF uh, logbooks trial master files training reports and other like source document is properly and not in if any kind of uh, protocol deviation and amendments is there he will also review that and should uh, connect with the pi to rectify it and he will okay, what motivates you in this field yes why you are choosing to go into clinical research because i it it have it's been a boom for the society and it's a very uh, fascinating career and there is no end up in the clinical research so i just wanted to being in the clinical research okay kirti uh, please tell me about your uh, strength and weaknesses my strength is i am very well oriented and i will give my 100% whatever the work you will give to me it my strength and weakness is that i want clarity and perfection in my work and i know everyone is not perfect and if i do not work with the perfection night feels me uncomfortable so you are saying that you are a perfect person or no. you want to become a person who is perfect it's always being in my mind that whatever work would be have given to me na i will do it with the perfection and i know so I that is a weakness yeah because doing every, things perfectly is a weakness no doing things uh, is not uh, perfectly it's not my weakness but it's make me feel uncomfortable na so it is my weakness if there is some mistake and i feel uncomfortable it will reflect on my face and so it will be not good for me and the strength you said i will give my best to the every work you will give to me mm -hmm. okay 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 oh. and what do you think is your greatest failure in your career i have uh, done my post graduation in forensic science and still i was not being able to get a job in my field so at that time it was my biggest failure so what do you think about it now now i am confident i can get a job in clinical research mm -hmm. great okay uh Okay thank you Kirti I will let you know